Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So as you can tell by this hairline right here, no, this is not my hair. No, I did not get the courage to dye my hair. It's a wig. Um, I got this wig from Webster Wigs, um, a site that my friend Scott recently told me about. And because they are a little bit pricey on the end of, you know, synthetic wigs, I was a little nervous, but I ordered two of them, this one and another one that's black with a UV stripe. I picked up these two wigs and I am never going back to Amazon wigs. These are so amazing. They're so soft. They look so realistic. Of course, once I blend in my foundation, you know, onto the lace here, glue it down properly because it's not really glued down as you can see for this video. You wouldn't even think that it's a wig. You'd think it was my real hair. So this wig actually ended up going with today's look. And with this look, we are going to be using and talking about the I Heart Revolution, the Aristocrats, more specifically, I guess, the Marie collection that just came out. I picked this up from Ulta. It's available on Ulta and I believe iHeartRevolution.com. I picked up most of the collection that they had. So we have the eyeshadow palette right here, which is called Stay Sassy. This is what the outer carton for the packaging looks like. There were two highlighters in the collection. One is Beloved and one is Duchess. So I picked up both of these here. One is more of a pinky uh, baby pink highlight, which is what I'm wearing on one side. And then the other one is a nice light gold shade which I have on the other side. And then the other three items I picked up that they had at Ulta were the lip glosses. The lip glosses are named after the three kittens in the collection. I just thought it was so cute to have to pick up. And I love the fact that around the board there is the chrome pink metallic kind of packaging to it. I thought that's super cute. Even though I do wish with the highlighter they had Marie somewhere on there. I don't know, that's just me. But the actual palette itself does match the packaging of the outer carton, so you aren't losing that cute little print of her. And this is what the palette looks like here. So it has the raised font in the metallic pink. You flip it over, it has your ingredient list, and it has kind of like a layout of the eyeshadows right here on the back. And if you open it up, there is the color story. So it's a two-sided palette. There is a plastic sheet right here in the middle to keep the two from you know, if they break or mixing or anything like that, you can actually rip this off if you don't like it. I'm just gonna end up keeping it like this for storage purposes and stuff like that, but you can take this off or keep it on to protect your shadows. So there is this right in the middle and this is the color story for the first side. I guess I'll show you here. A lot of pinks and there's a couple pops of blue and purple that I used on my eyes today. And then the other side over here. So that's what the color story looks like for the palette. This is what I used today. Now I will say that I Heart Revolution, um, XX Revolution, I think the name of it is, and then Makeup Revolution do have a very hit or miss formula as far as their makeup collections and products. They did come out with a Jack and Sally, A Nightmare Before Christmas collection during the October month of 2019, so, or of 2020. I believe now, I always get my ears mixed up, of last year and I did do a review on that and I wasn't all that impressed with the eyeshadow formula at all on that one. And then they did come out with a spell book kind of series, which again, I did do a review of that over on my channel when I was first starting. And that one I was super impressed with. The eyeshadows were pigmented and blendable versus the Nightmare Before Christmas one. So this one I was a little hesitant on because it is a collab, it's a limited edition one. And the last time they did a limited edition, you know, franchise owned collection, it wasn't that good. But I did pick it up because the packaging's super cute. I remember watching The Aristocrats when I was little and totally vibing with Marie and her sassiness. So I wanted a piece of my childhood and stuff. I thought it was cute. So if you are interested in seeing this eye look that I have on my eyes right now using the Stay Sassy palette from I Heart Revolution in collaboration with Disney's Aristocrats, then just keep on watching. So this is the look that we're going to be going for today. This eye, I didn't actually really like the way I cut my crease, but 
you know, I guess it happens. <laughs> so we're going to have the Stay Sassy palette. This is what the packaging looks like and the color story. And I've already primed my eyes with the P. Louise Rumor Base in the shade 1. And I'm going to be taking Beloved and I'm going to be popping that onto my outer crease. I'm going to stamp on the color first to get the pigmentation and then softly blend out the edges. I'm going to make sure with this color that I'm going to do a swooping motion with where I place it so it kind of makes a U shape kind of going up towards the hairline. Next, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Marie, which is the lighter pink shade of the palette, and I'm going to be placing that 50% onto Beloved and 50% onto my base. I'm going to be using small circular motions to blend these two together. Um, I would say that they look slightly different, but for some reason, I don't know. But this one, I didn't really get that nice gradient blend. So, I don't know, they look different in the pan and slightly different on the eyes, but... I don't know, I feel like they need to be a little more different in order to get a nice gradient, but I'm just going to use small circular motions and blend these two together. After that, I'm going to be taking the white shade in the palette, which is Gable, I believe it is, and I'm going to be dusting that onto the pink shades so that we try and get a nice gradient look going for the pink before we move on to the other colors. And now I'm going to be dipping into the purple shade Feline line beat I believe that's how it said and then just pack on the pigment right next to the pink shade and then softly blend out the edges after that I did try and go into Paris which looked like a more lighter purple shade but there was really no pigmentation for it so it kind of only helped to slightly blend out the top of the purple so that's another downside to the palette was there's no I don't know there's no darker tones and then there's no lighter tones for each of the colors but we're just going to stamp the pigment on and then blend it into the pink shade. Just go back into the pink shade and the purple shade and just make sure that that little line is seamlessly blended together. What we do here is go back, 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 back. And now I'm going to be dipping into this kind of periwinkle baby blue shade called Sapphires in the palette. And I'm going to be placing that right next to the purple shade. Now this shade is so light, just make sure that you're just lightly going over the edges to make sure that they're blended. You don't really need a lighter kind of transition color to blend them out since it's such a light blue. But I'm going to stamp on the color and then I'm going to be dipping into the shade Sacre Bleu <laughs> and placing that onto the rest of that inner corner right there and blend that into sapphires. Now when I did blend these two together I was losing the sapphire color so I just made sure to load a lot of sapphires onto my brush and just pack on that color so it really showed through. And then once I have these blended together, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my cut crease and I'm taking this fresh ink paint from P. Louise and I'm just going to use this to coat my entire eyes so that we have a nice white showing through. I really love the P. Louise paints for cutting the crease and they are my ultimate favorite, especially if you really need a white shade for a cut crease. I think using the fresh ink in rewhite is really perfect. Just make sure that you have enough on your brush, not too much not too little just to make sure that you have a nice opaque white on your lid but I'm just gonna cut the crease and then we're gonna move on to the um, the eyelid <laughs> <laughs> 
And now I'm going to be dipping into the shade Feline Beat and I'm going to be placing this in kind of an eyeliner shape. So first I'm going to pick on the pigment just so I get my shape going. I'm just using like a smaller fluffier brush. I'm just being very careful with this. And then I do kind of go just windshield my wiper motions back and forth to try and start blending out the purple shade. But packing on the pigment, just make sure you're going in a wing formation. I'm going to be taking Beloved and then after that Marie and I'm going to be placing them on top of each other. So here I'm going in with Beloved and I'm placing that right on top of Feline Beat just in the same formation that I did with uh, Feline Beat, the winged formation. And I'm just going to blend out the edges, kind of windshield wiper motions, circular motions, make sure that they're just blended together. I'll go back into Feline Beat just to make sure that that color is showing through on the look and then I'll go into Marie just to make sure that there's a nice gradient and we have a lighter pink shade that kind of goes into that white. So I'll just pack on Marie after that and blend that into Beloved. Again, just going into all three, making sure that every color shows through and everything looks seamlessly blended. <laughs> going to be taking Gable the white shade and I'm going to be packing that on to where the rest of the um, fresh ink paint is and blending that into Beloved. I just wanted to make sure that it looked super seamless on the eyes and that it kind of set the paint. You don't really have to set the paint. They dry in like 30 seconds or whatever but I just like to have an extra layer on just because I went in with another shade on top of that and um, so I'm just packing on the white shade and then going into ooh la la this shimmery white shade in the palette with a very small packing brush and I'm going to be lightly dusting that onto the white that we have right there so I added just a little bit of like shimmer and glow to the eye look. <laughs> And now for the bottom lash line, I'm going to be taking Feline Beat and then a little bit of Paris. And I'm going to be taking this about halfway onto my bottom lash line. Again, just connecting the top liner that we have down and then the bottom together, stamping on the color, blending out the edges. And then I'm going to be taking Sapphires and then a little bit of Sacre Bleu and putting that on the rest of the inner corner. I'm actually with this stamping on Sapphires and then lightly blending that out. And then on the inner, inner portion putting sacra blue on that portion right there I also did line my waterline with the same P Louise paint since they are eye safe and after that we're just gonna put on some mascara and lashes and we will have the finished eye look <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys, so I'm going to do this uh, talking portion real fast since it's not going to take that much time. Off camera, I just put on my foundation, some bronzer, and blush, just in case you are curious. I did put on the KBD Good Apple Skin Foundation. This is the one that everyone was talking about on, um, I was going to say Twitter, but it's TikTok. I was going to do a video on this, do my first ever foundation review on this, but... I don't really like this foundation that much. I find that it separates really fast on my skin. I have dry to normal skin, which is what this foundation is supposed to be targeted for, but I find that it separates and it really hangs onto my dry patches. So I really only use this for filming and I'm gonna try and use it up so, you know, doesn't go to waste and that's it but that's what I have on my skin right now and then for bronzer I just use the Kylie Cosmetics um, pressed bronzing powder in the shade khaki and then for blush which I did take on my nose today since we are going to be putting on the colorful wig is from Trixie Cosmetics the summer of love palette that's what it looks like I'm using the shade girl on girl which is the middle shade right there just in case you are curious as to what else is on my face so in this collection there were two highlighters we have the shade beloved and we have duchess so you can see it's this pink metal chrome top here with the little paw prints which is super cute you can see that i've already gotten my fingerprints all over it since it is the chrome it's cute i do wish it did have like an outline or like um like just a sketch of Marie on it. I think it would have been cuter for the packaging to have her on this instead of just the paw prints because if you didn't look on the back or if you didn't know, you wouldn't know this is the Aristocats. But I'm gonna put one of these on one side of my face and one on the other and we're gonna see how these perform. So I'm gonna be taking, let me see the two colors and what side I want what on so i'm going to be taking beloved on this side right here i'm going to be applying this highlighter and beloved with a morphe 453 brush i know this is just a big uh blending crease brush for your eyes but i just like it for my highlighter because i can target the pigment in one spot so i'm gonna dip right into it this is the more pinkier shade out of the two there's the pink and the gold and let's see what happens it is kind of already getting hard pan as I'm dipping in which is kind of weird and I'll show you once I apply this but here we go Ooh, that's super pretty so it did take a couple dips into the pan to try and build it up to this blindness but it's very beautiful it's a very light pink shade it's not too crazy don't know if I could blend this out a bit better so this is what beloved looks like and it's not too dark for my skin tone either. At least I cannot see like a colored cast or anything on my face when I look forward. Super pretty. It takes a little while to build up, but it's super beautiful on the skin. I do want to show you how it's kind of getting like a weird hard pan situation. See right in the middle of the paw print where I was dipping. It's getting kind of like a weird texture. Just something to note. Um, but yeah, this one is beloved. I love this one. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. And now on the other side, the super terrible side. That's such a horrible cut crease if I haven't mentioned it already. <laughs> but I'm going to be taking a Duchess and this is what it looks like there. Same packaging. And this is the gold highlight. So I'm going to be doing the same thing, taking the Morphe 453 brush, cleaning that off, and I'm just going to be applying this. So let me get a generous amount on my brush. And again, it is doing like a weird, I don't know if that's considered hard pan situation. The more I swirl my brush into it, I don't know if you can see it. All right, let me apply it.
All right, so that is one go with a lot of product on my brush. And let me just build it and blend it out a bit more. That's really pretty. So you could really build it up if you like the really blinding highlight, the same as Beloved, but it's this super beautiful light gold shade. Hopefully this is not my good side, so it's like hard to film it, but hopefully you can see. So this side is Duchess, the light gold shade, and then on this side we have Beloved. Out of the two, I definitely love Beloved more. I like that it's lighter and I love the very baby pink tone to it. So that is what the two highlighters look like from the collection. All right, guys, and that was my tutorial using the Stay Sassy palette from I Heart Revolution in collaboration with Disney's Aristocrats and a demo of the highlighters, how they look, how they go on. Now, I believe there's some hits and misses with this collection. I do want to say that I think it is way better than the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, but let's start out with the lip glosses. Now, the lip glosses are very cute. I kind of suggest picking up at least two of these. I think picking up the Marie as a really pretty topper on top of a pink liquid lipstick or lipstick would look absolutely beautiful. That's what I'm using on my lips right now. And then Toulouse I recommend picking up as well because he's just a nice medium coverage peachy nude gloss. I believe these retailed for $7 on Ulta's website just in case I didn't mention the pricing. So for $7 these are pretty good glosses. They're not sticky. It is a very thick formula so you really do have to keep dunking into the component to try and get that nice coverage that you would like but it does have a very nice shine to it. I'd recommend picking up at least these two right here. This one, Burleys, Burleys I think is his name. Um, he is just a clear gloss. There's a bunch of clear glosses unless you are looking for a new cheap one, you know, just to replace or whatever. Then I would suggest picking this up, but this one's not a must have. These two are really nice. Nice new peachy gloss. This one's a beautiful topper to put on any liquid lipstick. It does have a slight vanilla scent to it, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't linger and you don't taste the vanilla taste to the lip gloss at all. So I think these are worth picking up for $7. You can't really beat some really beautiful colors. The highlights are super pretty. I do love the metallic chrome, but it does get dirty pretty easily. I also would have maybe liked a really cute like outline of Marie on them, you know, just to give it that kind of aristocrats touch to it, but these are actually pretty good. If you like a very nice glowing highlighter that isn't too beaming and out there. I think you will really, really like these, especially if you are fair toned or medium toned. I think these are both going to look very beautiful on your skin. As far as somebody with a deeper complexion, I don't really know how all well these are going to work out since they are so light but they are very beautiful colors. You have the gold shade and you have the pink shade. By far the pink shade, which is beloved, is my favorite out of the two. I think these are worth picking up. I believe these retailed for $8 a piece and for $8 for a really good highlighter like I have on my face right now. You can see the color, you can see the glow to it. I think these are worth picking up. Super cute with the little paw print in it and beautiful colors, worth it in my book. Definitely recommend picking up both highlighters in the collection. Now the eyeshadow palette. I like it, but I think there are better eyeshadow formulas out there for this price. The palette retailed for $20, and I kind of think that's a bit much for what it is. I think with the $20 price range, it's just coming from Disney and owning a Disney product and, you know, the Disney licensing that goes into it. But the eyeshadow formula is so, so in my opinion. Um, I feel like the colors alone worked really well by themselves, but when you try to blend them together, 
they just don't really want to blend into each other. So I think for $20 there are way better drugstore palettes out there. I know nobody really wants to talk about Morphe right now with what's going on, but I do think that Morphe has a better eyeshadow formula than the iHeart Revolution. BH Cosmetics has a way better drugstore formula. Um, for 20 bucks versus this one, it's okay, but I don't know. And the color story isn't all that kind of interesting. In my opinion, these two blue shades really take the cake for the palette, but there's only two of them, and there's no darker matte shadow to kind of help the light blues. So, I don't know, I think the palette is worth passing. Of course, if you love the aristocrats like me, and you grew up watching that movie constantly and stuff, and totally vibed with Marie, then I would say get it, but I just think for $20 and this eyeshadow formula, there's way better palettes out on the market than this one. But that is going to be my video for today, guys. If you liked it, leave a like on this video. It really helps my channel out. Comment down below what you guys think of this collection. Did you plan on picking it up? Did you pick it up? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the next time that I upload. Until next time, I would love to see you guys in the next one. Bye.